Catskill Art and Office Supply celebrated their 35th anniversary in Woodstock with an all-day party for the customers, filled with music, demos, and chances to dabble, play, and create in every way. Mary girl, the gingham's is my share. Ah. This is about a give back. This is about love and what Woodstock has meant to me and my family and what I'm looking to give back to the people who have embraced us and what we're trying to do. Oh, I'm, I'm loving the opportunity to just experiment with all these different textures and colors and see how they all work together because it's opening up my frame of imaginative possibilities. The paper is absorbent and so it naturally absorbs all the paint that's on the plate and then we just lift it back and there you are. It was a chance to share and explore from ancient arts like encaustics to all kinds of new paints, brushes, dyes, media. Even if you miss the day of demos, you can always stop into one of the three Catskill Art locations and find out more about any technique you're interested in. The staff is really knowledgeable and really friendly. People are always asking about acrylic transfers, so I'm doing transfers into acrylic sheets and also transfers directly onto surfaces. It's really fun, it's really easy, and both these things, you will only need self-leveling gel to do these fun ones, or if you're gonna do directly onto a surface, all you need is polymer medium. Very easy, very quick, and it looks great when it's done. And then you have a final piece that you can make out of old drawings, photographs of your family, really anything you wanna put in, just as long as you can photocopy it. Uh, uh, the, the painters who were here were Brock Brockenshaw, uh, Rolf Scarlett, Ed Chavez, the Low Coast people, uh, Reggie Wilson. These people came out and told me what they wanted. And based on what they wanted, that was what I put in as an inventory. And that whole tradition has continued right on through today. The people who work here are artists. And uh, see the background is really watercolory and uh, kind of the way it, the color spreads. Now with the bird, I actually used a product called No Flow. The people who shop here are artists. I start most of my art off with pen as I close my eyes and keep going and then it's there. I keep going with my eyes open. And it's sort of a community center in the town. I've seen people make like these little spirography kind of things on glass with these things and then just throw them back yeah. into their work. Very cool. Um, almost like a doily in a sense. You can create any kind of pattern with it. And the speed with which you move is going to depend on the thickness. So I want a thick line. I'm going to go real slow. Acrylic wash is a medium that mimics all of the properties of wash. Uh, it dries to a mat and it has acrylic property so it dries faster. It cannot be lifted like watercolor and it's used for illustration. They're so available that they keep up with the newest. I don't feel that I have to go to New York or anything. There's a great number of creative kids in Woodstock. Yeah, I mean, she started elementary school here in town at Woodstock Elementary. And um, her dad's an artist, he's a muralist and a painter in Costa Rica, so she's got that innate ability, so I wanted to encourage her as much as possible.